아호하카코 알로하 So we are learning about three marks of Buddhism. So again, these are the fundamental teachings in Buddhism teaching. Whether Buddha appeared in this world or not, these are truths of life. So we learn the impermanence, everything is changing. There was now we are learning about anatta, no substantial, no self. And then third is a nirvana, peace and then tranquility. And then when we say three marks of Buddhism, they are the characters of Buddhism. If we add dukkha, unsatisfactory, then this will become the four marks of Buddhism. And today we are learning about anatta, non-substantial, no self. So anatta, no self, non-substantial. So what it means is we can learn in this way. So similar words or to describe what no self, non-substantial means. Like a no ego, no eternal thing, no soul, or no atom. It's like one of the uh, concept or idea of reincarnation. There is something exist forever, eternally. And then no attachment or others, connection, freedom, interdependence. So from these words, uh, no self also means there is no unchanging, permanent essence in phenomena. So there is, including people, things we have, everything is changing. So we learned impermanence. Everything is changing. Yeah? There is nothing and then people who can remain forever as it is or as they are. Yeah? Just as simply, everything is changing. And then also we learned uh, interdependence. Everything arises in dependence on various causes and conditions. Yeah? Because of this, we have this. Because of that, we have this. Because this disappeared, this also disappeared. Because of this change, this also change. So everything arises depending on causes and conditions. So with these two, these two ideas, impermanence and interdependence, what this indicates is nobody and nothing can exist by itself or themselves, yeah? because everything constantly changing, and then everything arises and then disappears, depending on cause and condition. So nothing and then nobody will can exist by itself or themselves. So therefore, there is no unchanging, permanent things, which is no self, non-substantial, because of impermanence and because of interdependence. There is no such a self. We can call it unchanging or permanent. Hmm. Yeah. However, what we think is, yeah, we think that there are permanent things. We attach to it and assume it should be mine. So then we can find ourselves the cause of suffering or worries. The, what the Buddhism defined is because of this idea of me. Me, me, I, my, me, my, mind. We call it the delusions or attachment or desires. So therefore, Buddhism teaching us, yeah, no self, no substantial. But what we may do is yeah, we think, no, there is, this is a permanent. This should be mine. I attach to it. I don't want to let it go. And again, we can see the gap, reality, my wish desires. So let's say now you can see the picture of the couple or spouse. Yeah. So I can call it, I got married. I'm now husband. Yeah? So I can become a husband. Not only because of me, yeah? 
I can call myself spouse or husband because of my wife or spouse. I cannot be who I am now without her. Yeah. So what it means is again, nothing and nobody can exist by itself or themselves. Could be you can ask yourself too, if you are a grandmother or a spouse or a brother, sister, you are who you are. Not only because of you, yeah, because of others. Today you are who you are. Yeah. So in this way, we cannot say yeah, there is something uh, I have. I have permanently something here. Yeah. As a person or a husband, I cannot say I'm permanently forever here. I can be here as a husband because of my spouse or other person. So there is no such a self. I can call it permanently or unchanging. So therefore, nothing and nobody is mine. Yeah, based on impermanence, everything is changing. Interdependence, everything arises depending on causes and conditions. And then, due to that situation, now. I receive this in my life, but it's not mine. However, again, yeah, even spouse or wife, yeah, if we begin to think it's a mine or ours, when we begin to control it, yeah, what we may have is uh, difficulties. Yeah? Why you don't do this? Why you did that? Why you don't understand me? Of course, yeah, as a family or a spouse, we try to have our purpose or ideal style, lifestyle, or we try to develop the human relationships here. Yeah? But we try to tend to put my taste, it should be in this way, it should be in my way. Then, however, again, yeah, due to the truth of impermanence, interdependence, life doesn't always go as I wish, but we want to. We want people go in the way I want. We want people behave in the way I wish. Then we do have more worries and then difficulties because again, reality and then my desire, this gap. So no control, no position. Yeah. yeah. Think about if we are the one who have permanent self or something unchanging. Yeah, don't you think then our life should be perfect? Yeah? Everything should be fine. If we are the master and the owner of our life, don't you think we never experience worries, concerns, and difficulties, including our body functions? Yeah, but uh, we're going through uh, difficulties or worries, concerns. Yeah? The reason why is here. Yeah, we are not our master. We don't control everything, even including our health, illness, uh, our body functions, even the people. We cannot control, we cannot possess because everything is changing. Everything is in the truth of interdependence. No such a self or something. We can control, we can define as things which should be go in the way I want. Yeah. However, again, the more we try to control, the more we try to keep it under our position, we do have a more difficulties because there is no such a self, we can call it mine. And then there is no such a self or things under our control because again everything is changing everything is based on interdependence so what this no self uh, teaching me is i am what i am because of you everything comes to my life through countless causes and conditions and now i'm receiving this gift of life and then while it is in my hand, I get to try to cherish, appreciate it, and then try to take care of it. And then that guiding me to the life of 
Attitude in gratitude. Attitude in gratitude. Try to learn no self, no substantial, and try to be a uh, less attachment. Try to see the life as it is, guided by Buddhism. So therefore, again, over here we can find reason why we say I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance because we need a guidance and we need to be aware of this truth of no self, no substantial. And then to be aware, how do I see people and then things which is no self, no substantial, not under my control, no position.